Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, it is still Monday, right? Yes, Monday. I had to think about it for a second. Uh, Monday, the 21st of February is actually actual President's Day. Uh, I know it's like, really, oh yeah, Monday's a holiday. I go, what's a holiday? I had no idea. Uh, <laughs> don't pay attention much about that anymore. But anyway, so yes, it's President's Day. Uh, it is obviously February 2022. Uh, had a really, really nice day here today. I'm still in a t-shirt, and you'll see that when I flip the camera around. But uh, no, we've had, uh, if you look through here, we've had a lot of uh, snow melting, which is great. Uh, the path out to the dog run, you can see a lot of melting that way as well. So I uh, have had a tremendous amount of melting today, which has just been wonderful. <laughs> it's like, like, go away, go away, snow, be gone. So anyhow, um, <laughs> so before we get into this video, a couple things again, I just want to tell you real quick. Um, this video is going to be going up at 7. At 8 o'clock, I will be doing my live stream for uh, members only. So if you would like to be part of that, you go to my main page here on YouTube. Uh, you will see the join button. You click on that and it will, uh, you know, become a hardcore member if you would like. And you can be part of that live stream. I had somebody got mad at me today. And they were like, you're going to charge people to talk to you? Well, here's the, here's the beauty of it. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Nobody's forcing anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. I'm still live streaming three days a week. Every week. Been doing that for since I started live streaming. Uh, I still put up videos every single day. None of that is going to change. <laughs> this is just a private thing that if you want to be part of, you can be. If you don't want to be... Nobody's making you. It's a really cool concept, I know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the second thing I want to remind everybody of really quickly, I have my sale going on for the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods right now on my website. So again, if you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you will click on Store. It will drop down. You will see Legacy Foods. You click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. Pretty much everything is in stock, which is great. Um, there, we are using a discount code. It is 100,000 subscribers, and 100,000 is the number, and then subscribers obviously is spelled out. So that is the discount code. Uh, you can save yourself 20% on a purchase if you use that discount code. So it's a good time to take advantage of that. Everything is pretty much in stock, which is, again, a good thing. Things are shipping out very, very quickly. So I would encourage people uh, to take advantage of that uh, at this point in time. All right. So having said that, uh, let's get into this video. Boy, we got the administration folks that just keeps on giving. They just keep on giving. Oh, it's just, it's interesting. So we have a, a crisis situation here going on. Um, and I know Canada has it worse, and I know that Europe, you guys pay a lot more over in Europe as well. That's why y'all have cars that are about two feet long. Prices here are pushing $4 a gallon for gas. Now, I know in California it's already over $4 a gallon for gas in California. Uh, but California is a unique animal when it comes to how badly they tax their people. New York is a close second. We're, they're right neck and neck. We <laughs> follow each other. Uh, but anyway... Gas prices are continuing to go up like crazy, and so a federal judge, I think it was a federal judge, today, um, he had, okay, so you're going to love this. So they wanted to give out permits, uh, drilling permits, and, uh, you know, leases on federal land, right? They wanted to base it on what they call, you're going to love this, a social cost of carbon. Well, a federal judge said... No, I think it, it might not have been a federal, it was a judge, some judge that they had the, this, uh, they were fighting this, and the judge said, no, you can't base it on that uh, for a reason for giving out leases or not giving out leases um, and permits to do drilling for, for um, you know, for oil and for um, natural gases, right? So what does the Biden administration do? Because they didn't win that round of what they wanted, they didn't get their own way. He put a pause on giving out permits and leases for drilling 
Now, folks, I'm telling you what, right now we should be drilling, 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 and then doing a little bit more drilling. Uh, you know, we are in a position where we could get enough things where we could be energy independent once again. Um, it is because of the different things that he has done um, that has put us in this position. I mean, the first thing he did, and again, this is my opinion, my opinion, okay? Um, you look at what he did, the first thing he did when he got in office, he shut down that pipeline out of Canada, you know, sh sh uh, shut down the construction of that. That was going to be something that would be very advantageous for us, the United States of America, but, uh, you know, um, they, uh, I'm sliding, <laughs> sliding on, um, but, uh, you know, that would, you know, that was, uh, something that we were going to be able to, you know, to help the country, but of course he said no. So not only has he put a pause on drilling leases and permits, what does that do as a direct result of that? Um, it's going to keep gas and oil prices high, right? Uh, your propane, uh, natural gas, uh, heating oil, all those type of things, they're going to stay high. Also, there's jobs lost because people are not out there working. And those are good paying jobs. If you're doing that type of work, uh, those folks that do that are making some really, really nice money. Oh, yeah, which also helps stimulate the economy. Imagine that. What's, why would you want to have that, right? Why would you want to have people making money so then they could go and spend that money that they made? Oh, well, I don't want to have that happen. It's insanity. It is absolutely insanity to me. Um, yeah, so he... Uh, yeah, the metric to estimate the social cost of carbon um, emissions. That's what the judge blocked. And so, like I said, so what is Biden's answer? Well, he just puts a pause then, um, not giving out uh, those permits or leases for drilling. It is amazing to me how this is okay. Um, you know, I want you, you know, and, and, and listen, I, I have a solar system. I like being as green as I possibly can be. I want to try to be, live as naturally as I possibly can be. I like to try to grow my own food um, as much as I can. I have my chickens, so I have organic eggs, and I know how my animals are raised, so I know that they're treated decently and that they've had a good life. Those are all things that are important to me. They really, truly are, okay? But our society is not ready for that. They're not. Um, they don't want it. Not the majority of people. People don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to go, well, you know, it's, if you do this, it's going to, you know, cost you this much more or this much of your time and your energy. Well, if people are put out, they don't want no part of that. Are you kidding me? They don't want to be put out. So it takes a special kind of person that really wants to follow through on that. And like I said, I want to be as green as I possibly can be. Um, I'm looking to be as, you know, free as possible. That is... Um, I like being green. It's, it's a good aspect of what I'm doing, but I'm looking for independence. And so I don't want to have to rely on some company to supply my power. I want to supply my own power uh, using the sun, using water, or using a wind turbine, whatever way I decide to go. And so that's my priority um, when it comes to that type of thing. But, uh, you know, it's like I'm not going to have somebody dictate to me again um, what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be. And it, along with that, let's talk about this. So he wants to limit carbon emissions from the United States. Well, here's a couple of countries. I'm just going to throw them out there. That it's okay, you can do whatever you want. Uh, then dump everything in their rivers. Uh, have as much carbon emissions as they want to. China would be one. Um, they're not limiting squat. They're just doing what they do. They're build, burning a ton of coal. Uh, a lot of their power comes from coal plants. Well, how much emissions is that kicking off, right? Uh, also, India. Uh, it, you know, and you're talking about two of the most populous places in the world. I mean, when you say China, you, people don't think about it, but they have, what, one point... I think they're up to like 1.5 or 1.6 billion people. So it's literally 5 to 1... From the, Amer from the United States. Five to one. They have that many more people. Uh, how much more emissions do you think those folks are putting off, right? Uh, and then you figure India, they have, what, 1.3 million people? Or billion, I'm sorry, billion. 1.3 billion. So we have 330 million people in the United States. Uh, China's sitting at 1.6 billion. And India is sitting at uh, 1.3 billion. 
they got a lot more people than we do, and they're doing a whole lot more polluting than we are. Now we're going to talk about Italy and having that volcano going off. Mount Etna is going off again. How much pollution is that putting up into the upper atmosphere? What's Italy doing about that? <laughs> That's a joke, just so you guys know. But realistically, how much pollutants, how much pollutants is that volcano putting up into the upper atmosphere? That'd be something to figure out, right? A lot of volcanoes going off around the world right now, folks. A whole lot of volcanoes going off. Spewing all kinds of stuff into the atmosphere. But just remember, it's cow farts. It's cow farts that's doing it. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, I want to hear your guys' feedback. How come it's we, the United States, the UK, uh, Canada, those type of countries that don't have as many people, we have to be the ones that make the sacrifice and cut back on our emissions where countries like India and, uh, you know, China can just do whatever they want to do. How does that work? It's an interesting question, isn't it? I'm just curious. I would like to hear your thoughts on that. So, anyway, folks, uh, I am going to get ready to jump off of here. But I definitely, like I said, I do want to hear your feedback on this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, it has been just a marvelous day here today with having... You have no idea with seeing as much snow that melted, and I know we still have a lot of snow. You can see there's still a lot of snow, but we have a lot less than we did. And you can actually see part of the driveway now, which is nice as well. And uh, But uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's it's been a nice day. Tomorrow we're supposed to have rain all day, which rain is okay as well because that will help melt the snow. So I'm not going to complain about that either. So, anyway, um, remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, uh, and uh, I think that that is an important thing. And uh, if we could ever figure that out, work together, stop letting them manipulate us, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important to tell the people that we care about and that we love every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that can stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you guys are going to be just fine. Uh, you know, life is so short. Try to enjoy it as much as you can. Try not to stress too much if you can help it. And uh, things do things will get better. They always do. All right? I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And, again, I will see you in the um, live stream tonight if you are a hardcore prepper. And uh, so, again, that will be fun. We'll have a good chat. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.